everyone and welcome to Tynmouth in South Devon. It is a January day, it's not the brightest of days but it's a lovely day for taking a walk on Tynmouth Beach and I thought I might be the only person here but there's quite a lot of people out walking themselves and with their dogs. So I'm going to walk from Tynmouth along to the pier and I'll probably nip across to Sheldon as well which is a village the other side of the Teen River. So come and join me, let's have a look around. I nipped over here from Tiverton this morning, Tiverton Park Bay on the train, just about half an hour journey on a direct line. And you can also get trains here directly from London as well. So I totally recommend that. If you're visiting England and you fancy a trip to the West Country, there's some direct trains down here. Do check those out. Okay, so starting from the end of the beach just there, I'm going to walk towards the pier which is in the distance up there. I don't think you can even see it at the moment. <laughs> I last came here to Tynmouth a couple of years ago in the summer and I walked from Dawlish to Tynmouth and when I got here the heavens opened and I got totally drenched so I just legged it to the railway station. I didn't even look around the town or anything so I'm really looking forward to exploring it today. Otherwise, it's many years since I was last here. I was last here as a teenager with my grandparents, and that is some time ago. <laughs> uh, lots of clouds in the sky today. The forecast was for a little less cloudy than this, but it's still lovely to be on the beach after a week at work. So just to get our bearings, just over in that direction is Dawlish, and there's a lovely coastal walk there, and I'm gonna do that in the summer and I'll show you that on the channel and if we swing around to the other direction in that direction we're just looking kind of dark at the moment we have the likes of Torquay and Paynton so I think I mentioned that we will go along the beach to the pier and also across to Sheldon I'll probably go across there for lunch and also, I'll have a little look around the town as well. It's supposed to be a very nice town with lots of independent shops. If you are looking for inspiration about where to spend your holidays in the southwest, then do subscribe to my channel because I load videos every week looking around the southwest of England and I hope to give you some inspiration. So subscribe to the channel and you'll get notified when I make new videos. If you prefer not to walk on the beach, there's a seawall walkway as well, which runs alongside the railway track. I'm just on the walkway at the moment and I've noticed there's an activity trail. And this sign says Mr. Brunel, is in Bad Kingdom Brunel, was the driving force behind the South Devon Railway with the first train arriving in Tynmouth in May 1846. At this point in the walk, I could smell a very strong smell of coffee brewing and I could not resist. I had to take a seat and I had a lovely coffee at the Teen Bean. I don't know if it's intentional, but this ice cream kiosk, I think, looks like an upside down ice cream. Look how dark the sky is. It just started to rain. So I think I'm going to go for a wander into town and I'll come back down to the beach area when the shower has finished. Before I do though I'll just tell you what this area is called. It's called the Den and it is a lovely green space at the edge of the seaside. Well there's lots of people out and about today enjoying all that Tynmouth has to offer. The beach and the gardens and the pier and you can imagine in the summer this place is absolutely buzzing with people. It seems to be a popular destination for coach trips as well. Not too sure what this is, but it's quite interesting. It's made out of um, all sorts of, dare I say, rubbish, recycling. It's TV aerials, remote controls, tyres, you name it. It's on this structure. Very interesting.
we've got another one of these signs which are very informative. The pier was constructed in 1865 by J. W. Wilson and the cost of the 245 metre structure was £8,000. Oh, it's really lovely to see this in real life actually. I was watching a YouTube video last night about it and I saw it being restored. I'll link to that video actually because it's really interesting to see the local artist at work. The local artist who transformed this sentry box by restoring it made it into a performance venue. So sometimes there's performances here in the summer like Punch and Judy and there's a space there to be able to go inside and do that. and a blackboard for information about what performances will be taking place. It's just beautiful sign writing, all done by hand. The other sentry box was transformed into a peep show. So it says press here and have a look through the peep holes. Okay, so this one's showing pictures of the den Menard in the 19th century. I don't know if you can see it actually on the phone. And another one as well. Let's have a look at this one. In this one, you can see the Tinmouth Lighthouse. Well, as you can tell, I didn't actually go into the town yet. The rain stopped quite quickly, so I continued on my walk towards the ferry to Sheldon. So I'm just going to nip across the road and have a look across there. There's some beautiful Georgian buildings across there. And also, it looks like there's a tennis court and a play park. Let's go and have a look. So yeah, the buildings in Tinmouth are beautiful. This is on the seafront and beautiful Georgian buildings, as I said. And there's a cafe and a quad bike area. And also a tennis court right by the beach and right in the centre of the town. And just panning over here to my right is the large green area is also part of the den and what a perfect place to bring a picnic on a hot sunny day can you imagine it loads of people thronging around here oh wow look at this as well this is also part of the den area by the beach and we have a dinosaur park if your kids are into dinosaurs definitely bring them here it looks amazing so i don't think there's any charge for it i just walked in through the gate that says push to open and I'm in here. Let's go and have a look at the dinosaurs. Okay, so I think it's also mini golf as well. So mini golf and dinosaurs. Perfect. It's really nice to be able to show you this now actually because in the summer when there's lots of kids around I wouldn't be able to come in here. But now I can show you. And look at this one. Towering over the tennis courts and a really good children's play area as well. And there's a little play park for the younger children as well. So the area is called the Den Play Area, so it's all part of the green space called the Den. Really sorry the sky is so dark, we'll definitely come back here on a brighter day, but hey, there is Tinmouth Lighthouse. Let's go and have a look at that. This lighthouse was built in the 1840s and it cost £300. And it serves to guide ships into the harbour entrance. Plenty of parking down by the lighthouse. So from the car park, just going to go down the side of this block of flats here and there should be the Sheldon Ferry. Sheldon, as I mentioned before, is a village the other side of the river and there's a ferry across there and that's where I plan to get some lunch. And also just by that car park is the Tinmouth Lifeboat Station and it has a little r and shop as well. Oh, I seem to be not the only one filming around here today. I see a rather more professional setup down there with a tripod and a video camera. I'm just using my phone. So here's some information about the ferry I've just spotted and at the moment in the winter it starts at 10 o'clock and finishes at 4 and oh my goodness it's Tuesday today and it says there is no ferry on Monday or Tuesday during the winter months. 
okay i need to make a plan b i'm used to making plan b on this channel well it's a little bit disappointing that i couldn't catch the ferry as i planned to today across to sheldon but i'm used to making plan b's and c's and d's on this channel as you well know if you're a regular viewer so i'm going to go across to tinmouth town center now and find myself some lunch somewhere in one of the lovely independent cafes i think so just getting some views as we walk back into the town centre now. Well, the moral of that story is always check the website. I did check the website, to be fair, and the Facebook page, but I think I, I just missed that minor detail that it doesn't run on Mondays and Tuesdays during the winter. It's just a really calm day today, actually. It's just a lovely, gentle swishing of the sea. The water's really clear as well. And it's a lovely aqua blue. Let's go and have a look underneath the pier. I love going into these piers. So here I am just peering at the pier from underneath it. So just above us is the walkway and this is the sea defence wall which runs alongside here. Oh my goodness, I can see somebody in the water. It's got to be very cold in there. People were just cheering her for going in. I enjoyed a lovely Jackie Potato lunch at Coasters, which is an independent cafe. In amongst the big brand shops, there's some really lovely independent shops and I particularly love this shoemaker's. Oh my goodness, those shoes in the window and the boots just adore them. St Michael's Church is a Saxon church and it's stood on this site for over a thousand years. Most of the church that we see today dates back to 1823 although it does have some older features such as a south facing doorway and the tower was added in 1887 to celebrate the golden jubilee of queen victoria i'm going to go get my train now but thanks so much for watching it's been lovely to show you around Tinmouth as I've got to know it a little bit myself as well and I cannot wait to come back and show you around some more, particularly in the summer. There's absolutely loads to do here in the winter. There's lots of people milling around and there's lots of places open, shops and cafes, both chain ones and local independents and it's great to support the local independent businesses as well. So yeah, definitely come here in the winter. I'm going to say goodbye for now. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you want inspiration of where to have your holiday in the southwest of England. I'll try and give you some ideas, as I said. Bye for now, everyone. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next week.